Hello guys, welcome to part 2 of Stylized Monster Sculpting in ZBrush. So in this video we're gonna continue our sculpting. Let's fix the mouth a little bit, make it a little bit more smiley. It's not that smiley as we have in our design. So with the move tool we're gonna make it smiley and after that we are going to create our feet. So let's be sure that it's looking good looking in every single side so now what we're gonna do we're gonna go to sub tool and we're gonna append and we're gonna append a sphere 3d sphere 3d okay perfect let's select our sub tool first because if you don't select it you're gonna move the the monster like i did so select your sub tool the sphere let's scale it down in the y axis then the x Access and move it where your feet is supposed to be. That's good. So remember the short keys. Eh? If you get W, move E, you rotate R, you scale, and Q, you go back to drawing mode. Okay, now we're gonna cut with Shift Control and we're gonna cut. Cut curve. Uh, clip curve is the name of this tool. Clip curve, and you activate it with Shift Control and then click. Okay, we're gonna move our feet. Let's, let's start smoothing it out those hard edges. That's good. And let's build a little bit of a little bit more of the clay in the back, kind of like in the heel place. Good. Now that we have kind of like a, the shape of our foot, let's move it a little bit. We are going to duplicate it to the other side. So in order to do that, we're going to go to C plugin, uh, sub tool master, and we're going to mirror. In mirror, we're going to put merge as the same sub tool and, and put in the X axis. Now we're gonna merge down, select the first one and we merge down so now our feet and our uh, body is merged. Let's uh, build some more clay around the ankle areas. Just kind of like make it look more connected. If you see it, you're having like a little bit of that problem, kind of like a, it, it uh, looks weird, like the two pieces of geometry just dynamesh, just, uh, is, this model is already dynamesh, so just control and drag outside and you're gonna dynamesh. Let's keep working on our feet, Let's move it, do we move, that's good. Kind of like get that shape of the heel. Okay, so our feet are looking really good now. Let's uh, smooth out the, the bottom part and fix those heels a little bit because they look kind of like not that nice. Yeah. Most of these characters that I do, I do it for illustrations. I don't do them for uh, production. I can do them for production and. Uh, it will require a little bit more of time, it will require more, more planning as well. Uh, normally I use a, a, the remeasure tool in, in ZBrush, but uh, if you want to do for production, I definitely advise to do retopology in Maya and I will create a video on how to retopologize uh, 
<clears throat> a sculpt in Maya from Sea Rush. So let's keep working on the legs. It's great. Let's give a little bit more of a of, of a more uh, ah, how would you say that? Let's give a little bit more uh, it's still too skinny the legs I think. I'm gonna give them a little bit more shape. Okay, I think they're fine like that. I might go back and, and, and do them again. So let's work on the mouth inside of the mouth. Let's kind of like do the cavity of inside of the mouth, and then we're gonna create a mask and we're gonna create a little uh, we call it in Spanish the, uh, the bell, the little bell. On the top of the mouth, the roof of the mouth. So we're gonna just mask it, invert mask, and we're gonna pull out the geometry. We're gonna smooth it out, and then we're gonna dyna mesh, so we can work more on details. Okay, that's good. Just smooth it out right in the middle, so it gets a little bit thinner. Uh, great. And then to make it a little bit kind of like a more of a, as a sphere in there, we're gonna use another tool that is the inflate tool. So look for inflate, so B I inflate, and you're gonna inflate it and you see how it's giving that like bulgy shape. That's looking good. That's great. Fix the shape of the horns a little bit more, so they're kind of like more circular. Okay. Perfect. So for the hands, I have a, uh, I have developed a, a insert mesh which uh, you can find on my Gumroad store, it's just $3, so it's an SLI hand. You can pick like a, either three fingers, two fingers, or four fingers. So in another tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this insert mesh. So that's what, I, what I'm using for my, for my hands. Actually, it saves me so much time, because can you imagine I do hands all the time, all the time, uh, when you're creating your characters. So it saves a lot of time. So I will put a, a link in my uh, description down below the video. And if you want to get a brush, it's just only three bucks. Okay, so after we load the brush, we start uh, with DynaMesh and we are going to kind of like blend it together, like the arms and the, and the hands. Perfect. Now we're gonna use the clay buildup to just to to blend it more. You see, it looks kind of like weird, like all skinny, and then it goes like a really big arm. So I'm gonna blend it a little, blend it a little bit more. Yeah, those tools, if you, if you guys are creating stuff, creating characters, always make a, a, those insert brushes, like it, they're time savers. I definitely recommend it. That's looking good. I'm gonna take the DynaMesh off now, because I don't want to, I don't want to keep DynaMeshing and then get rid of the details of the hand, so I'm just gonna work on details more, so I'm gonna take DynaMesh off and I'm gonna start subdividing. Let's create the, the kind of like a, that orbital bone on top of the eyes with a clay buildup. And let's define a little bit more the lips of our monster. Perfect. It's looking bad. 
so kind of like uh, now that we're gonna work in details we're gonna give it like a better shape to it keep working on those lips to make it look more cohesive and like that there's, there's kind of like some weirdness going on that looks much better that shape and do it the front as well in the top bottom and top Great, so second is second shape. It's perfect. Now we're going to use a pinch. Tool. I use uh, some of uh, Chain Olsen uh, brushes, they are downloadable for free, it's an amazing uh, stylized character artist. So I use now the Pinch tool, the Pinch brush, which can give you like a, that sharp edge. I'm gonna leave down the link of uh, his website where you can download the brushes for free. It's amazing and if you have a chance to take one of his workshops, definitely recommend that they got this guy is like seriously a like great artist. So with the same brush, uh, let's define like the eyebrows, let's define like uh, the top of the, the horn sockets. It's looking much better. So as we see now, what a monster is, is getting like a better shape, it's, it's very nice. Now we're gonna use the fill brush and we're gonna fill a little bit those gaps or those places that we feel that is lacking of um, kind of like clay. Work on the lips as well using the pinch brush, which gives a really nice, nice detail. So if you want to invert it, you can go like on top, like uh, where you see C add or C sub. Or if you want to invert it without going there, you just press Alt and you invert the direction of the brush. Okay. Now I'm gonna use a standard brush. Is it standard? That's not. Sorry about that. The damn standard brush is gonna create like a really nice uh, it's not gonna pinch inside it's just gonna create some creases so it's gonna give us like a little bit more of detail to work in the mouth that's the damn standard brush it's really it's really nice brush to work for uh, when you're creating some details lines and uh, let's say uh, wrinkles or stuff like that Yeah, so it's, it's, taking, it's, it's taking a good shape our monster here. It's, great. it's looking good. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna append and we're gonna append another sphere and that's we're gonna create oh nice. Almost doing the same as we did with the with the feet, so we create the sphere, 
to scale it down, remove it. So remember the shortcuts Q, draw, W, move, E, rotate, R, scale. Okay. So let's move our eye, put it there, and then we're gonna go to C plugin. C plugin right there. And we're gonna sub tool master and we're gonna merge. And we're gonna mirror, sorry, mirror. And we're gonna do the mirror in the X axis. Now we're gonna work on the detail in the eyes of our monster. center to the face of our monster. Right. Okay, so. mm -hmm. That's good. create a curve to 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 kind of like the <laughs> that uh, kind of like, I don't know how you call this kind of like his hair no it's not actually his hair it's kind of like something going on in there so we're gonna do it right in the front view now we're gonna go in the side view we'll create our curve then we're gonna move it we really, really want that part to be and uh, let's lock go to curve lock start so when we move the end, the star doesn't move, you see, right there, perfect, let's give it a shape, and then we're gonna go to stroke, and we're gonna go to curve functions, and uh, sorry, to cur curve modifiers, and the curve modifiers, uh, the one in the left is the, the width of the, of the start, and the other side is the end, so once you give that, you go and click in size and then click the curve and it's gonna modify your curve. I think that's a little bit too skinny for me. So let's give it a little bit more. So that's how you modify the, the size, the size of your curve of your curve too. Okay, then you go to stroke, curve, and delete and delete the curve. And now that we have it there, go. We have two dynamesh together. So the thing like I dynamesh in 120 resolution, so I'm gonna lose a lot of details there. So what I'm gonna do is just put the dynamesh resolution to 512, and I'm gonna hit dynamesh, so I don't I, I don't lose uh, the resolution. Perfect. I'm gonna divide more. I think I lost my subdivisions in there when, when I did the dynamic, so I'm gonna divide more and then do the dynamic so I don't I don't I don't lose uh, as many details. That's good. That's much better. Let's look in there our monster here. Much better. The monster is it's getting a nice shape. Now it's, it's coming to life. Perfect. Okay, guys. So thank you so much. Uh, this is part two, and stay tuned for part three. Enjoy this tutorial. Uh, practice. If you like it, uh, subscribe, like, share to your friends. Any questions? Let me know. Follow me on Instagram, GomezR3D. Thank you so much. I have a, an awesome day and create, keep creating, keep uh, doing some cool stuff. Okay, guys, take care.